Thank you to HBO Max for sponsoring this video. Today we're focused on Studio Ghibli Film. Studio Ghibli was co-founded by two creative geniuses, Hayao Miyazaki and Isao Takahata. They've made some of the most influential animated films over the last 40 years, and many of them are available on HBO Max. My personal favorite is Spirited Away because of all the tasty food that's in the film. The care taken with these films can't be overstated, and something that always sticks with me is the attention to detail that they bring to the cuisine. So we're gonna try to recreate some of that Ghibli magic right here in our own kitchen. With John, who cooks at home for his kids, Jeff, who says he's a pretty good chef with prepared foods, whatever that means, and Kayla, an absolute wild card in the kitchen. Today on Visual Feast, we are recreating delicious recipes from Studio Ghibli. And it is a competition, and I have the competitors here with me. First of all, most importantly, you're all gonna try to win this amazing trophy here, the mason jar on a stand. What you're gonna be judged on is flavor, appearance, leadership, because you'll be, you know, in charge of the recipe, teamwork, because you'll be helping somebody else out, okay and then replicating directly from the movie. So making sure that the food item looks like it's right from the movie. It is now mini contest time. So this is what's gonna happen. I'm gonna fry an egg, okay? What you guys are gonna do are turn around and decide when that egg is over medium. Um, so whoever is closest without going over gets to choose the recipe first for that egg over medium. Okay. Okay, makes All right. sense. Once this egg hits this pan right here, you're gonna turn around, maybe close your eyes as long as you're not cheating, and raise your hand, yell, turn around, whatever, when you think it's over medium. <laughs> oh, look at that. This is gonna go terrible. Okay. Yeah, you can smell how, how close it is. Shut up, Jeff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Woo. Oh, yeah. I think it's about, I mean, nobody wants Nobody wants to break the seal. <laughs> nobody wants to be the first one. We're gonna have a burnt end by the time we all turn around. <laughs> no. Yeah, I'm gonna do now. Damn it. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if, uh, the egg? Just suck the yolk Yeah, out. so bad, have to eat a fried Suckers. egg. Suckers. Oh damn, it's actually not that. Oh. It's pretty over medium. Oh, oh damn, that's, that's pretty over, over medium. medium. That's pretty over medium. Let me, let me just, to prove my culinary ability here. <laughs> I, I actually All have right, confidence. over medium. There's that medium gel, just a little bit of runniness. You do have some yolk that's a little more solid, but that is over medium. All right. So we got a couple options here. We've got a bento from Totoro, which is uh, relatively easy. However, one of the very important parts of this will be to make it look exactly like the bento box from Totoro. The show. Yes. Okay. Next, we have the bawan from Spirited Away. We've got a ramen recipe from Ponyo. You're going it. with the yeah. lots of steps, hard one, lots yeah. of ingredients. I watched uh, Spirited Away last night, I'm so proud I'm feeling of you. inspired. I'm very proud. Of you. Um, I'm gonna go with a. Uh, I'm gonna go with bento. I like I like bento boxes. Ooh, you get the one with just like the. So I have to cook ramen. Yeah. Okay. Since I'm going first, I'm gonna do the leadership thing and lead by example. I'm gonna teach you guys how to be uh, a good leader, a creative leader, and a teammate as well. Uh, first thing we're gonna wanna do is bring a pot of boil to water. So wanna try that again? <laughs> first thing we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna bring a pot of water to boil. When you're looking at a stove, a lot of people don't know this, you wanna find the biggest burner. Poke a small hole in the fat end of the egg, then boil for seven to eight minutes for medium. It helps to, oh, sweet cooking right. There we go. A lot of people don't know, but if you put a little white rice vinegar. Do you want help? <laughs> that, I've already sliced your ham for you. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> well, honestly, after Kayla cuts up a few of those onions, you guys can just chill out and relax. Jeff, you're left-handed? Oh, no, don't use that egg. That okay. ain't gonna work. Oh, yeah, just throw that. <laughs> Down an egg. Okay. Oh, it's in. It. Good, done. Take it out. <laughs> don't, don't break it. You don't wanna. So it's just gonna lay easily down in it. We don't want too much water on top of it anyway. It gets buried in all the water, it'll drown. You don't wanna drown your noodles. 
You don't want to drown your noodles. You want your noodles to come up for air every once in a while. All right, well, our five minutes has passed, so we'll take the noodles off. Kayla, would you be so kind as to... Tear these open? Tear those open and th throw those in there, and yeah. then mix it up a little bit. If I can. Yeah, and then, John, you're doing a great job keeping an eye on this. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> noodles are a sloppy business. <laughs> Everybody knows that. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Get the we're ham gonna lay our there. ham in there. Yep. Ham one, oh wait, ham one. Yeah. And then ham two. Yes. Very good. Perfect. Then uh, some we're green going onions. to put some green scallions, onions. As, they, as the kids say. Yep, yeah. the kids and, say uh, that on TikTok. And then a, a long wise egg. I mean, I'm certainly not gonna win any uh, complexity points for my meal, but the challenge wasn't to make a complex food. It was to make uh, the food that you were given look exactly like uh, it does in the animated film. And I think I did that. There you go. That's pretty good. That looks pretty good. Uh, Feast your eyes on a little bit of ramen. You might recognize it. Uh, it looks identical to the ramen in the film Ponyo. We're all gonna try it. Now yeah. remember, you guys get to give yourself points as well, but I, of course, the most important uh, person in the room is gonna give most of the points. Yeah. And then the egg, so here we go. Let's see what we got here. It's super hot, be very careful. Get your broth. Very surprised that it is relatively appropriate. Yeah. Uh, relatively appropriate. Now remember, don't double dip for. with your spoons. Let's be sanitary. Mm. That turned out pretty darn good. It That's actually doesn't taste watered down as it much as other considering we cooked it in a giant pot. That is of true. Water. Some numbers for mine. Okay. For one through ten. Leadership. I'm gonna give you an eight out of ten for leadership. I'll take it. There was some downtime, could have done some stuff. Flavor, I'm gonna give you an eight out of ten. And replicating, which I, I give it a ten out of ten for appearance, for sure. Very proud of you, Jeff. I'm very proud of you for this ramen right here. Thank you, Chef. All right, the kitchen looks nice and clean. Great work, team. Uh, Kayla, it is your turn. Yep. Why did you choose the bawan, which on paper looks like the most difficult of the recipes? Uh, it definitely looks super hard. Uh, I thought it just looked cool. Uh, it sounded cool. And uh, I watched uh, Spirited Away last night, so it felt appropriate. Sous Chef Ramsey for porting for duty. All right. I'm here too. Tight. All right, let's see. <laughs> uh, I guess. We'll work on the filling first. This, this is the this filling is zone, this yeah. Is, this is the, this is the filling zone. All right, let's zone. get the sauce zone over here. Dice. Let's dice though. Six dice. It's six, six, six dices, dices of mushrooms? Yeah. Are you saboteuring me right I'm now? not, I'm trying to, to translate. <laughs> what else? All right, uh, let's see. I'm, let's see, we can start working on the sauce, I guess. I'm gonna find a bowl. Two tablespoons of the chili sauce. Some tips going on. Uh, the thing about sweet chili sauce is uh, it's way too spicy for me, so this will be fun. Maybe it'll it's open. Sweet. Maybe it'll open up my sinuses. One tablespoon. I feel like this is more of a chop than a dice, chef. But that's oh, okay. Looks amazing. Okay. All right. Toss that in there. I'm starting to think this bowl might not be big enough. Yeah, it'd be fine. It'd be fine. And then a tablespoon of this. Should we uh, start working on a, a dough? Uh, I was gonna save that because it seems to be extremely easy. Oh, hey guys. Oh, hey, chef. Hey, chef. How are we, uh, how are we doing in the kitchen? The we have a sauce. Fun. We've got a sauce made. I'm yeah. happy to see that. Uh, any confusion? Any questions? How do we feel? Pretty confident what's going on? I don't think we've done enough to be confused yet. Yeah. I understand. Although Kayla looks like she's confused right now. No. You got it? That's fine. You're good. Jeez. No, we're done. Okay. That's optional. Nope, I'm just gonna... How much? It didn't say. Oh. So I'm just gonna do that. I love it. That seems right, right? Yeah, why not? It's gonna be. Uh, Three. This doesn't seem like nearly enough oil. I feel like it's all getting soaked up by the mushrooms. Put more oil in there. So is this water being brought to a boil while we're doing Magic. this? Yeah, so like with this dough, what are we looking at in terms of like a consistency to so look for? Is the water boiling underneath right now? Not yet. Oh, so once that water is absolutely boiling, put that, uh, put the bowl on top. I think that looks good. Oh, okay. Just like, is that, it's been a while since I saw Spirited Away. Uh, that looks mostly bright, you know. Finger pointing. I misread it, so we're just gonna dump that. And, we're uh, gonna dump this? We're gonna dump that. Okay. 
Okay. There's one. Oh, one. that's beautiful, Chef. Yeah. Okay. And then let's get. Can we get number two? Nailed it. Nailed it. Perfect. Amazing. All right. Uh, Chef Mike, we have some Bawan for you to Ooh, try. It's Bawan time. <laughs> yeah. This looks like a rice noodle that you would get, you know, if you ordered rice noodles. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Okay. That's a win. That looks hot. Looks real hot. He's thinking of how he wants to phrase this. <laughs> <laughs> Kayla's dish turned out much better than I expected, considering we had a bit of a misstep with how the dough was supposed to be made, as well as a misstep on how the sauce was supposed to be made. But in the end, it might have not looked gorgeous. It tasted fine. So hard, you did great. Flavor, thought it was very tasty. Leadership, I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you a 9.5 out of 10. Ooh, yeah. Flavor, I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10. So appearance, I'm gonna give you a 6.75 okay. to be kind of nice. There you go. I'll take it. And then it replicating the dish from the movie, I'm gonna have to give it a five. Okay. Well done team. Delicious, John, you're up next. So let's get ready to rock. All right, so Kayla just finished her dish, Great however, Jeff here is currently in the lead, which is very exciting. You're up next now. So have fun. I look forward to giving it a taste. Okay. All right. Okay, first thing you gotta do is figure out what I'm missing. I have rice, we have water, we have vegetable, vegetable oil. oil, baby mackerels. Do we have fishies? Well, I'm gonna guess we don't have umebashi, which is sour salted plum. Oh, easily to re easy to recreate with yeah. everything we have here. Mm. We're gonna cook rice, and we're also gonna steam or boil edamame. I'll do that. Amen. This is the first time in like six years I've cooked rice without a rice cooker. The rice cooker is, is, the, is the cheat code everybody needs in their life. Yeah. Where is the salt? All right, I finally got the fish out. What are you looking for? Salt? Is that the other missing ingredient? <laughs> we have pepper? <laughs> it's kind of like salt. Do we not have salt? Yeah, you don't, don't let the steam out. Steam out. All right, hear me that. out. Should we start working on umeboshi uh, replacements? Yes. I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna go grab some go strawberry rice krispie treats. Yeah, give me some pinky BRB. treats. Uh, basically, once I realized that we didn't have any umeboshi, uh, I kind of went into panic mode to our snack room and I found a bunch of stuff that could maybe look like or taste like what we were missing and I figured maybe we could doctor something up, so yeah. Yeah, that's a me. That's a, a raw that's meatball. That's essentially what's in the photo right there. Yeah. If you could just like, if it was just a little darker. I Anybody think have like a purple sharpie? What if we? Genius. <laughs> what if you could melt what if those? What we reduce these together? <laughs> oh, like to bind them together. Yeah. I mean, if I'm just, I'm kind of just, I'm, I'm, I'm getting handsy with them. <laughs> getting real handsy with them. Like, one like of that. These, listen, one of these is gonna work. Yeah, see, now it's the wrong color though. Well, I know that. It's so dark. I'm aware. <laughs> How do we? Huh. The flavor, though. How those in a mommy's coming? Great. They're cooking a little slower than I would like, so I'm gonna let them go a bit. <laughs> Technically, they're done, but uh, maybe the the whole bag kind of slowed it down. I mean, I just went by the instructions. Can we melt the raisins with? Is you that could. weird? I think you could. Do raisins reduce? You can un. I don't think raisins, raisins will reduce. reduce. No. Okay. Uh, Looks like you're rolling a gerbil brain in cherry sauce. You transfer that to there. Yeah. You transfer that. that I mean, as far as the animated version of the salt and sour plum, that looks like it. Yes. Thank you for dabbing. It's like you're dabbing its forehead. Okay, now yeah. it's the most <laughs> important point. We are now going to assemble this dish. So. I think it turned out pretty well. Well, one of them did. <laughs> Okay, remove the fish so we don't have to look at that. I'll remove the filled in my bush. Uh, this. <laughs> oh Lord. <laughs> it's fused to the plate. <laughs> it's fused to the plate. Uh oh. <laughs> All right, you get into that rice there, Chef Mike. I'd say the rice is a touch past al dente. <laughs> <laughs> Let's put it that way. <laughs> Appearance as is, I'm gonna pretend that the gummy snack was like 
a nice garnish accoutrement. So I'm gonna give it a seven out of 10. I did, I'll take that. For your leadership, I'm gonna give you a nine out of 10. Hey, I like there that There were too. some instances where you were a little talk downish to some of your- Was I? I think just a touch. That's a personality more than anything. That's more, okay, so then 9.5. I'll give you, because, <laughs> yeah. of, because you got backup. And then it replicating um, the dish from the movie, I'm gonna give you a 9.5. Okay. The only points I can really take off is the color of the flakes. So, generally speaking, we visually attained what we were supposed you to You visually, <laughs> on camera, yeah. this is a dynamite. Great. In Great. person. Just don't eat it, just it's, don't eat it. <laughs> it's tastes and smells of fish. Okay, now, to really, this really comes down to these final scores that I'm about to give to you. This sure. is teamwork, okay? This is not leadership. You had to take direction. You had to not sabotage your team. You had to keep busy, less leaning, more cleaning, keeping your head down, doing work as much as possible, and even staring at water to make sure that it boils. Very important. John, I'm gonna give you an eight out of 10. I'll take it. That's I think a B. you did a great That's job. A B. Kayla, I'm gonna give you. Set the bar at me. You have to. Like, I'm gonna give you a nine out of that's, ten. That's correct. But if we were, you know, just straight leadership, you were ten out of ten for sure with the difficult task of your recipe. <laughs> Jeff here. Many a time I was looking over, and not only were you making sure water was boiling, I saw you doing dishes, saw you clearing things. I mean, you're a natural leader, but you can also take directions. I'm giving Jeff a 10 out of 10 for teamwork because he was busting his butt doing all kinds of things. All right, team, the numbers have been tallied. I had to use both my hands and my feet oh. to count all the numbers, and the winner of this visual feast is Jeff. Yeah. Uh, so here is oh my God. an unnamed yeah. uh, jar uh, vessel with a lid yeah. as the trophy. I want you guys to know that even though it's my name, well, it's not my name on it, there's no name on it, but if it were my name on it, it, it wouldn't be fair because all three of us, I think, won this together. Yeah. yeah. We all won and lost the same amount. Right? Yes. I think that's Equally. how it worked out. Yeah. So we'll work out a share system. Okay. Uh, I don't know. I'll take it Tuesday. Thank you to HBO Max for sponsoring this video. If you enjoyed Visual Feast, let us know by leaving a comment. And be sure to check out the Studio Ghibli films, only on HBO Max.